So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and in this video guide I'm going to showcase to you how you can get Relena's Twin Blaze. These are absolutely incredible. Check this out. This is something you definitely do not want to miss. And don't worry today guys, I have you covered. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So where do you even start with this incredible weapon? I mean, it's definitely one of my favorites so far that I've seen within this DLC, offering two completely different unique skills. Uh, one, I'm pretty sure scaling with uh, faith and the other one scaling with intellect, or maybe they both scale with each other. I don't know, but hey, check this out. So the weapon itself is called Relentless Twin Blades. It's a light great sword. Scales your strength, dexterity, intellect, and faith. Requirements are right there 13 in strength, 16 dex, uh, 16 in faith, and 16 in that intellect. Now, it is a single handed weapon, but it can, again, just two handed weapon. Uh, have it in both hands. You do that by holding Y on Xbox and pressing uh, right bumper on PlayStation. That will be holding triangle and pressing R1, I do believe. But quote me if I'm wrong and let us know down below in the comments section. So yeah, the weapon itself, as you can see guys, it has a unique skill called Moon and Fire Stance. Assume a ready stance, swords imbued with magic. Follow up with a normal attack to cast glintstone light waves or a strong attack to perform a spin attack that bathes the area with flame. Light waves uh, can have up to two follow up casts with additional inputs. So pretty cool people. So to do that guys, what you do is you hold down unique uh, well the skill button on xbox that's a left trigger and then you press our uh, light attack which is right bumper and you do that and you can just spam that bad boy out uh that's the light attack one so if you hold down that skill button again and then press the heavy attack you do your flames pretty badass people i'm loving it i am absolutely loving this weapon it's really really cool i mean with shadow of the earth they've added some pretty fantastic things and it's fast as well i love these fast weapons i mean i'm a massive fan of my katanas uh, it's hard for me to stray away from them but weapons like these i mean they just contemplate me attempting a build around them yeah but that is another story for another day that's for sure so the weapon itself guys this is rewarded for you for beating the boss of Elena, the twin moon knight uh getting her remembrance and cashing this bad boy in at finger ready at the round, for finger reader at the round table so where is this boss located for one before we go there and i'll give you a few tips on how you can beat her so first things first guys you need to come all the way up to the ensis moon gazing grounds and then the castle lord's chamber so to get up here guys you first need to come all through this area so firstly from there free path cross you want to make your way around this across this bridge right here until you come to the castle front now this is the a grace i know many people will have so i'll run to this exact spot uh this grace and where this boss is located from this castle front um so yeah because i know like i said it's still early days people ain't unlocked many of these graces so yeah so from this grace guys you want to run up this up these stairs now when you first come here there will be a big old hefty troll sitting there taking a shit just run straight past him it's actually quite easy to take out but you get nothing special from him where are all these uh, coming from? I'm getting ruined from somewhere. So around here, you want to take a right. And again, there's going to be enemies here, but obviously we just want to try our best to avoid them. Just keep coming around. Just like so. And again, around to you right here. Up past this black knight. You can farm, for, by the way, for his amazing armor. Let's come past here and then grab this grace right here. And this is that grace we just spoke about of the Castle Ensis checkpoint, which is right here on the map, right there. So next, guys, we're going to run and get access to this castle. Now, if we go here, you'll see when you first come here, the gates are locked. So we have to unlock them first. So firstly, guys, let's go this way. Go this way, down this hole. Be careful of all these rabid dogs trying to bite your ass and pass on their diseases. Eh, eh, eh. Run past all of them. Now, they will chase you, so you've got to be sometimes or semi-quick here. 
and then you want to jump across here just like so and then jump across again just like so and then you've got to work your way up simple as that simple as that I'm yet to fall off that uh, and I'm actually surprised about it then guys you want to come up this ladder just like this now at the top just through this door there's going to be a guy that tries to attack you straight away on your right I mean sorry on your left you can see him right there so just avoid him uh, well don't be a noob like me and get hit by him try and avoid him and then guys come in here you can use this lever push this around and it opens up that gate that gives you access to this castle are you going to get out my way lad do my head in get out of here that gate right there he still ain't dead this guy's invincible leave me alone man so now guys you want to run up here past these dudes shooting their arrows at you as quick as you can and then at the top whoa 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 that dog is still chasing me you want to take a right you want to come this way now up here when you first get here there's going to be a, an enemy that uh, spawns in is is summoned in I mean for first you can run straight past him you ain't got to take him out straight away uh, so yep yeah, come past here down this corridor and up these stairs to your left just like so now guys you want to come up these steps and then you what the hell and come through this gate now you'll have to open this gate to start so open the gate and here guys you take a left let me go down here just like this now come this way don't go down there come this way run past all these and you have to take the staircase up and round to the right now i think there's an enemy up here that you will have to dodge around or take out him right there and then guys we have another black knight there you want to entice him towards you and then run behind him because now i'm going to have to pull this lever because i haven't got it pulled so pull the lever and wait for that lift to come back down don't please don't kill me lad come on come out let me get out of here there we go so wait for the lift to come back down and there you go well your lift will the first time you come in here your lift will already be down so you ain't got to worry about that because i've been here a couple of times where are you going with that hammer lad um let's call the lever back down or we'll call the lift back down okay so at the very top people you can see take a right up these steps and there we have a grace point now this grace point is the castle lord's chamber and there we have it so obviously you want to rest here or just activate this get all your well replay and everything you've got and then the boss fight is literally right up these steps on your right hand side and in here which the last place I actually died now to actually the boss i'm not gonna lie it's, it, i'd say on the difficulty scale it's probably about six or seven out of ten in regard to Elden ring though i'm gonna say difficulty scale about four out of ten for me personally now what i did to beat her was just use my generic build that i've had for quite a while now i'm using my rivers of blood absolutely love these you don't need two i just like to have two I'm using my uh, God's Lair seal. Almost can actually use any seal here to activate my two incantations, which one of them you don't really need. Um, I'm using the white mask, which just obviously does my, I think it increases my attack upon blood within the, uh, see, there you go, see right there. Slightly raises attack power when there is blood lost nearby. So yeah, a talisman, nothing. These don't make any difference. You can actually go for uh, a little heavier armor to get a little bit more damage negation. Talismans, I'm using the Shard of Alexander, I'm using the Ura and Wing Sword Insignia, I'm using a lot of Blood's uh, Exaltation, and I'm using the Malicious uh, prof Prosthesis, does that say? Prosthesis, I can't read at the best of times, people. Cut, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. Prosthesis, that's what that says. Uh, and also my summon, which is utterly unbelievable and helps with many, many boss fights, is a Mimic Tier. It's leveled up to the max, and in my physical I'm using the Thorny Collect tier and the Green Burst Crystal tier. That's what I do. And you'll see the boss fight. I'm not going to lie. You'll see the boss fight on screen now. I actually, my Mimic tier does most of the work. Now, what I have noticed is because I've probably fought this boss about five times. Uh, if you enter the room and you make the slightest bit of movement, she'll come charging towards you. But as you go through and into, if you don't touch your controller, for me anyway, and just stand there on the spot, she slowly walks towards you. And that gives you enough chance to bring out your your summon uh but i if i were you i definitely 
apply those incantations and your buffs outside of the door before you walk in because there isn't much time to do that now in regards to my incantations i am using uh, the vow of shabriri and i'm also using the golden vow that's what i'm using now the boss reminds me a bit of millennia not as fast uh, i don't think believe she's as hard hitting either but she will two tap you or three tap you but it's just about judging her attacks keeping afar i mean if you've got a summon again the mimic summon is probably the best to do this especially if your build is decent i mean any build where you can hit from a range is great too but it is as with every enemy and boss within this game it's all about learning their attacks learning when they pause learning when they slow down and just avoiding them as best you can i mean there's not much more advice i can give you i mean unless i'm playing for you i can't really help but yeah do what you gotta do people and there we have it guys so yeah that is how you get these incredible weapons known as Rulena's twin blades uh take her out she'll give you her remembrance you then guys need to go to the round uh table and then visit finger Arida. use that remembrance you can have a this or a spell the spell requires 72 intellect uh, but that's one for me on a new game plus playthrough definitely taking these weapons Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my bayou tefal people. I will see you on that next one.